Hello everybody, this is Brian Russell. And my tip this week is how to use pick analysis uh, in the program. Uh, to speed things up, I've actually uh, done a number of, uh, or cr created a number of picks already. So if you're not familiar with how to pick horizons in our software, um, uh, you can go to one of our other uh, video lectures. Um, and you can see I've got a set of gathers. These are actually super gathers from the uh, colony example in our AVO course and guide. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of this, this option and why it might look a little strange to you if you're simply trying to display picks. Um, his, historically, the first option was under AVO analysis, uh, AVO pick analysis. So if I bring that up, <coughs> you'll see that uh, there are a number of different options here. Uh, some refer to target and reference, um, and I'll talk about that shortly. But the most common way that people use this is to look at the just the raw amplitudes of some target horizon and to either uh, show the, the pick amplitudes only, the gradient analysis only, or the pre-stack picks with gradient analysis. So let's let's do the pre-stack picks with gradient analysis as it's the most complete. So first of all, note at the top, uh, here's a common um, thing that happens. I was, the most recent uh, input I was using was this model-based inversion, but actually I want to uh, look at the super gather. So you always have to check your input to make sure that the correct data set is being analyzed. Otherwise, you'll get a surprise. So let's go to next. And we're going to, in this case, I've already uh, gone through this once before. I'm going to pick the base gas of pre-stack picks and the top gas pre-stack picks. Uh, I'll go to next. And uh, of course, the other thing I should point out, I'm looking at pre-stack picks only. Um, it gives me a menu that has options. Right now I'm just going to do intercept and gradient A and B, but I could do three term, I could do any of the analysis options, uh, RPR, SRD, that are in our ABO analysis. I'm going to use the defaults and I'm going to say uh, blue for the picks, red for the gradient, same for the second event, blue and uh, red. Uh, click on OK. And there's there's your uh, display of the of the picks in blue that are um, uh, connected by linear segments and the gradient in red. And that's a very nice display feature um, that uh, is is useful to to do for um, for your for your picks uh, for your ABO picks. Um, the other th thing I should point out there is a second way to access this, and that's to right click. I just I did a right click on the uh, green uh, grid and there's show pick analysis. I can turn it off if I want. I can also change analysis options if I want. So I don't have to go back to AVO pick analysis. I can change the analysis option. I can also uh, change the curve uh, range and so on. So let's go back to change the analysis options and I'm going to look at um, some of the other options. But before I do that, let me just cancel that for a second. Before I do that, I'm going to bring up a PowerPoint. And um, by the way, this PowerPoint includes a copy of a, an old paper by um, Ed Chiburos, who was the chief geophysicist of Saudi Aramco in the 1980s. And he came up with an idea, uh, this idea to normalize his picks. If, if he had bad scaling, he would normalize his picks. And I've highlighted the key part of this paper. Uh, he says the um, if you look at this, R is equal to Tx over Ta divided by Wx over Wa, where those are a target and a reference uh, horizon. Uh, I won't go into much more detail in this paper. If you're interested in the paper, even though we can't post it because it's um, copyrighted by SEG, if you, if you request a copy, we can, uh, if you can uh, just put a request on our website, we'll send you out a copy of this paper. So that's, that's the basic idea behind the Chiburis method. And if you, if you look now, and um, now I will go back, change the analysis options, and I'll, 
you can see now what what this target over reference means. So this is actually the expression directly out of the Chuburis methods. And I'm just going to show, uh, in this case, let's just show the gradient al analysis. Well, actually, no, I'll, I'll again show pre-stack uh, with gradient analysis. <clears throat> And now I'm going to get some extra, an, ex, an extra menu. It'll say uh, select your, um, um, your, your reference horizon. So for my reference, uh, let's, I'll, let's go for the deep um, uh, pre-stack pick. I, uh, I've done this before, and I've actually um, I'll select that. Uh, the shallower pick has some dead, dead traces in it, so I'll, I'd rather go with the deep pre-stack. Now it asks me for my um, uh, my reference horizon. And uh, my reference horizon, I can pick both of those, the uh, base um, gas pre-stack and the top gas pre-stack. And again, I can, I can go through my ABO menu. And finally, I'll, again, I'll say red, blue, and uh, red, blue. Uh, there we go, and I'll say OK. Now we've got a bit of a surprise here, and this is a, fe <laughs> say a feature of the software. It actually for it doesn't rescale; it should rescale. But I can show K curve um, the the range editor now. It, it looks like they're dead, but actually it's just the scale needs to be uh, reset. And I'll th I think minus five uh, to five. This is something we're going to improve in, a, in an upcoming version, but it's a pretty easy fix. And uh, now you can see, actually you can go zero to, sorry, because they're um, normalized, I just can go from zero to five. So you can see there's the, um, there's the two effect, the two effects. In fact, um, I probably should have, um, um, change the colors. Let's go back and change the colors and show you how easy you can go back change analysis options. So let's do the same thing but now instead of uh, I'll do let's say light green and, and dark green. Forgot to do that but it's very easy to do. And you can see there we go. So that's showing those those two events. Alright so that's that's the pre-stack option. Let me show yet another way to um, to actually uh, initiate this menu, and it's probably the most common way people initiate it. Uh, so let's go back now to the project data. I'm going to go to my seismic. Now I'll look at a, the CDP stack. Uh, now on the CDP stack, I've picked a lot of events, um, and um, <clears throat> so I'm going to use some of these. And now another way to access this is to actually go into the eyeball, or that's the view um, uh, button, and look at pick analysis itself. And I'm going to say show pick analysis for this cross section. This is a, a, a new um, menu we didn't see before, and it just shows you how to set up the grid lines on that on the pick analysis but if we click change analysis options we get exactly the same menu we saw before so again now for post stack data of course most of these options under data type and plot type don't apply we're really only interested in the raw amplitude of the target and showing the pick amplitudes so I'll say next now and again I was doing this before so I'm going to look at the shallow Cretaceous and the Mississippian uh, click on OK, and now say uh, red for the one event and blue for the second event. Uh, click on OK again, and OK again. Let's see what happens this time. All right, now again, now you see the scaling is correct this time because it's for a different um, stack. So if um, it's it's just the first time it does the scaling correctly. If you were to redisplay some picks, uh, you're going to have to readjust the scaling. Okay, let me finish with one quick thing. This is this is obviously the uh, stack. Let's try one more. By the way, I can turn that pick analysis off 
or back on as, as much as I want. So if I go view, um, show pick analysis, off and on. All right, let's try one more thing. Let's go to my um, uh, seismic, uh, 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 the, the um, actual seismic project data, and now I'm going to look at my inverted data set. Double click on that, I probably didn't quite initiate it. Okay, so here's my data set. It, the default right now is inverted shear impedance and uh, actually the, so let's go and look at um, the uh, change the color key to v, VPBS or the color background and also change the uh, trace data volume to inverted VPBS. Now, of course, what I'd like to see is the um, uh, inverted VPBS ratio over, let's say, the top of the gas. So, so again, I'm going to initiate it here, and I'm going to say pick analysis. And again, it's, it's very good practice to make sure the trace data, color data, volume are exactly what you want, inverted VPBS. Do the pick analysis, show pick analysis for this cross-section, uh, change analysis options, Again, I'm just using the defaults, raw amplitude, show pick amplitudes only. And um, now I actually have to say, uh, it, it's remembering my previous section. So I'm going to say, uh, the point, sorry, I should point out, the picks were made on the stack. So you have to turn off this uh, uh, current seismic so you can see all of the picks that are available. So I'm going to unselect this, unselect this, and I'm only going to pick at the um, top of gas. So I'll double click on that, say next. I'll give it a red color and OK. OK again. Let's see what happens. And oops, I um, this in this case I must have been using some other option last time. So again, you can see it looks that it, it looks dead, but obviously it's because the scale's wrong. So I just go right click, show color uh, editor, and I'll go. Let's say 1.5 um, to um, 2.5, which is a reasonable range for a uh, VPBS. And there we go. So now you can see that at the gas zone there is definitely a drop in VPBS. Now I should point out before I leave you that we are going to add some uh, features, new features to this um, PIC display in the next release where we can look at isochrons and also RMS and average amplitude between sets of PICs. But that's, that's probably not going to occur until um, uh, version 2.3. So thank you very much.